Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be recording Demon Slayer Retribution and this is a game that I have recorded a few videos on, some negative videos and some positive videos and um, today we're going to be checking out the new big like revamp update. As you can see, um, they've added a lot of stuff. They've added like a lot of stuff. In the update log, there's like pages of of um the update log so yeah one of the big changes is the map which i really really hope they make good use of the map because that map um the previous map was the thing that kind of you know steered me away from the game kind of ruined my experience with the game so hopefully this map does it justice and hopefully we can enjoy the game so hope you guys enjoy if you guys do of course be sure to like subscribe and let's get straight into the video guys <laughs> Okay, so we just created our character and I actually really enjoyed that character creation tab because like there was a lot of unique stuff like the eyes were very unique and stuff. But the only thing is I wish you could change the colors of stuff. I mean, you'll see in the game, I couldn't really change the colors of the eyes and stuff. So yeah, let's get into game. So we got store two times stuff that you can buy. Hopefully it's not pay to win. We got normal attack, heavy attack and just all the basics pretty much for any Demon Slayer game or any game in general. And yeah, as you can see, I couldn't really get to choose like the color of the eyes or the hair or anything. Maybe they could add that in the future. But for now, you can't customize like different colors for your um appearance so okay i mean we first i mean we spawned in this village right next to npc so i guess we'll talk to him hi uh, you must be golden dynasty you wanted to become a demon slayer right if so then you should first need a nitrin nitrin um i have a friend who is retired slayer okay i remember this and um he can also give you an old nitrin do you want to meet him yes okay accept this and i'll show you where he is all right nice um, okay, he's over there to the arrow and I like this. I like that there's a little tutorial now when you first off the game There's like an NPC directly next to you telling you, you know You gotta, you know follow this little path to get your actual like stuff equipment and then um And then and then go on your journey to become a demon slayer. So right now, let's go talk to the retired slayer Okay, the map. Ooh, okay. I mean, I'm liking the environment. I'm liking the snowy biomes I mean snowy biomes are kind of like in every demon slayer game. So it's kind of like a norm but uh, let's see. All right, that wasn't too long of a walk and we're already in the next village, which is pretty good because before, you know, it would take like the old map, it would take a lot of walking to reach the areas, the different areas and villages. So, okay, Golden Dynasty, my name is Fumio and I am a retired slayer, okay? I have this katana, I can give it to you if you want, uh, if you win against me in combat, I'll make sure that you aren't going to die, okay? Um, let's see, I accept, there we go. All right, let's start our training dismiss okay so we got our katana and okay nothing has changed about this why is it still snowing i don't know if it's supposed to be snowing but yeah let's just kill this guy real quick he's pretty easy i fought him a few times before but yeah just i just spam m1s there's really not too much um interesting about this just spam m1s what's what about the m2 is m2 different okay no the m2 is the same so the combat looks pretty much the same from when i tested the game before so yeah let's just hurry up and just kill this dude real quick Okay, there we go. He's dead. Okay, that's way better. I remember before when I fought him, like, it used to be like he's tanky as heck and it would take like so many combos to kill him. But now it's actually pretty fairly easy. So you beat me and you're not strong enough to 10 foul selection. Get a trainer, become stronger. Okay, so we got to get a trainer. Does that mean we have to get our breathing before final selection? Um, I'm pretty sure before, like, before the whole revamp, I, I went to do final selection before getting a trainer. I didn't even get a trainer. I didn't even learn a breathing in this game yet. So this will be a first time. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a map on the Discord. So I'm gonna go check out the map and see if I can find a trainer or anything. But first, they got bandages and stuff. And, um, do I just talk to random people, get some quests or something? I'm pretty sure there's a leveling system in this game. Let me see. Stats. Okay, we got five strength. We got three HP. I don't know what mastery is and physical. Okay. Okay, so I was just going exploring to try to find like areas where I can find trainers. And um, yeah, first demon encounter. Let's see how difficult it is. I feel like we're getting like yellow orbs or stuff around us that might indicate like us leveling up our skills or whatever, like um our strength or whatever. And um, yeah, okay. Demon time. Um, let me see. Is he gonna our demon npc's hard like i mean he's not hitting us back does he even hit back hold on let me let him kill me real quick let me see if he can hit back uh, there's also blocking this game okay so they do hit back but we have so much hp we have 269 hp okay let's keep going just keep m money this dude and um there's also gripping in this game so oh okay he's bleeding already already bleeding that must mean he's pretty low all right there we go he's down and b to execute there we go and boom 
Bam, dead. Ooh, I like that execute. I like that execute um animation. Really, really nice execute animation. Another demon? Is this like a demon spawn or something? Okay, um, I'm gonna kill this one last demon. I'm gonna go explore some more to try to find a trainer, I'm pretty sure, because we need to get a breathing or something before we go to final selection. Okay, so I've done a little bit of exploring. I spent like, what, like 10, 20 minutes or something trying to find villages. And I found a lot. I found the Thunder Trainer. I found some gourds and stuff. And yeah, there's just a lot of... Okay, there's inns and stuff. There's fast travels in this game. Yeah, they added so much stuff. And the map is definitely way easier to navigate now. There's like fishing rods. I don't even know what they're used for. Like, can you fish in this game? I remember like in, um, what is it called? I remember in Wisteria, there was like fishing rods and like mining or whatever. And um, it was never very too useful. But yeah, let's keep going. It's like trinkets around everywhere. And I'm guessing there's probably just like random NPCs. I don't even know what they're used for. So I mentioned earlier that I found the Thunder Trainer. So yeah, I'm gonna go over right over here to Thunder Trainer. It's really cool. Like there's like stuff here, um, different stuff. For oh no, I fell! No! Oh my God, we actually fell down here. How do we get back up? I was trying to show you guys that there's like different stuff in the map. That's pretty cool. Like this little thing that you can fall down to. But like, how do we exit? Um. Hmm. This is. Uh, oh my God, I can't wall jump or anything. Uh, we're kind of stuck here, aren't we? Okay, well, I just reset and um, now I'm back at the starter village. So let's see if the fast travel works, if I even have enough money for it. But let's see, you need a rod? Yes. Sweet, here are the designations I'm headed to. Choose your stop. I actually don't know where is where. I'm pretty sure I was around Kohi village, but that's expensive. That's like 80 yen. Okay, we have enough money. I don't even know where we can check our money, but that's really cool. Fast travel. Damn, fast travel is saving so many games. Like, it, saved, it was saving Demon Fall too, because Demon Fall's map is humongous. So, all right, let's 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 do this. Uh, M, how do we check our money? Like, okay, there we go. We got 400 something yen, level 15, 21 rep. I don't know what rep does. Um, I, I don't know what any of that stuff does, but okay, let's not fall down this time. Let's go to Thunder Trainer. Let's be careful. And okay. So in this village, there's like Thunder Trainer and there's like a medium gourd. It looks like gourds are scattered around the map. It's not like one designated location where you just do all your gourd training and stuff. Um, like in other Demon Slayer games, it's kind of like hidden around the map. So, okay, here, here is the Thunder Trainer and his little Hayori. So let's see, 250 yen. I mean, let's try to get Thunder Breathing first. So with my help, you can become one of the most powerful Demon Slayers. Would you like to learn Thunder Breathing? Sure. And uh, let's see, you're still too weak to learn this breathing. Okay um let me go check the requirements because i don't know what you have to do to be strong enough for a breathing let me check all right so the faq says i need to be level 25 in strength in order to get thunder breathing so let me check what am i right now i'm level 10 okay that's actually a significant amount we need to get 25 let me see i'm gonna go i guess try to find some demons to kill or something and just farm a little bit till i'm level 25 in strength and i'm gonna come back to get thunder breathing okay so i was farming a little bit of demons and it does take quite a while to like level up because um let me see my stats i'm only 13 right now i'm only strength level 13 so i was trying to see if i can maybe do final selection before i um get my breathing because final selection i'll definitely be killing a lot of demons so let's see yes does it work? In order to attempt foul selection, you must first speak to the demon slayer in Sword Village. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we don't need a breathing before we do it then. Okay, so I finally found the person that you actually need to talk to to basically initiate the final selection quest. Um, so basically the retired slayer is right over here, and um, you have to come up here to this house. There was just so much fog that I didn't even see that there was a building up here. But basically, you have to talk to this guy. I'm pretty sure to uh, initiate the final selection quest. Um, okay, so let's come up here, talk to this man, and boom, certified slayer. Final selection is a difficult task. Most people don't survive. I barely made it out alive. Would you like to try it out? Yes. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, now we got to go to final selection. All right, let's head over there. And I guess we can complete it without um, a breathing. So let's do final selection and then let's get thunder breathing. So yeah, that's going to be the most progress we've made in, a, in this game. Um, yeah, ever. So let's hop into this. Okay, here we are back at final selection and hopefully they'll talk to us now. So would you like to start final selection? Yes, sir. Boom. And in order to complete final selection, uh, you must survive beyond the Wisteria's protection. And now your trial begins. Okay. 
survive for two days and kill 15 demons all right shouldn't be too hard all right so we're working on killing the final demon in order to complete final selection and um it hasn't even been a day since um final selection started so yeah we're probably just going to be afking after we kill this demon i mean final selection there's nothing too special about it is the basic you know kill demons demons are really easy in this game too um don't mind my hp bar my hp bar the regen in this game is just super slow like i don't know why it regens like one hp every 30 seconds or something and it's just too slow it's just too slow to regen hp but yeah i'm gonna go like eat lunch or something and um, i'm gonna come back because this is taking too long i've literally spent like a good like 15 10 minutes or something killing demons and it still hasn't passed for one day yet so we're gonna be here for a while and um yeah i also unlocked wall jump or something like this like wall jump i don't know if it's for my level or whatever but yeah i unlocked it i don't think i had it before but yeah i'm gonna go eat lunch and hopefully we pass the two days in the final selection all right, so it's been like 10 minutes since I last recorded. I'm still eating my sandwich. And this final selection is just taking too long, man. I'm going to finish my sandwich by the time final selection ends. It's going to be like 30 minutes or something. So, yeah, catch you guys when final selection ends. All right, guys, so I kid you not when I'm saying I literally ate my sandwich, watched some YouTube, took a break, and then I still was not finished with final selection. So I went for a run, and finally I came back, and I see that I'm finished with final selection. This honestly takes like over an hour, bro. This this final selection definitely takes a long time. And I'm um, okay, we completed it, and now we got teleported here. So it says, hey, I can escort you to outside final selection if you need. Okay, here we go. I guess we just finished it. Do we get anything? All right, so now we have the final selection, I guess, um, I guess Demon Slayer corpse outfit, I guess. Okay, I don't know if it gives us a bonus or anything, but let's check our stats. We should have enough for uh, Thunder Breathing. All right, perfect. All right, so we're heading over to Thunder Trainer right now. And for final selection, I feel like um, they made it long, maybe to give you guys like time to level up in it. Maybe to like, um, I guess, kill the demons and level up a little bit before you actually finish final selection. Because you're definitely going to finish the quest for, um, what do you call it, for the 15 demons before you actually finish the two days quest. Because two days quest is like an hour or over an hour so okay so i was heading over to the thunder trainer and um yeah i went across this guy i'm pretty sure he's the guy that gives you nitrins so let's talk to him and say of course all right go get nitrin we're on the top of the mountain oh okay let's get our nitrin sword before we actually get um thunder breathing so let's see where is the island where's the mountain okay let's head over up there how do we get up there that's super super high okay um i guess we gotta navigate our way up there and get that nitrin ore okay here we go oh there was a path we could have taken what i climbed up the whole mountain through the wall jumps but okay let's talk to this guy um the swordsmith told me you would come here is your nitrin ore okay take it back to him to have your nitrin katana crafted okay is there an inventory um wait we only have one nitrin ore it says two nitrin ore required do we have to like go do it again like climb up here again and talk to him i, I hope not but um it's not too difficult to get up here so i guess it isn't too bad oh what's the fall damage okay i don't know what the fall damage is in this game but uh okay they decreased the fall damage because i remember you used to die super quick with fall damage and um oh okay i guess wall jumps negate fall damage i tried dashing into the wall that did not um that did not negate fall damage but i guess if you wall jump it negates fall damage so okay let's talk to him and get our nitrin so sharp as ever i wonder what color it will be all right katana customization wait what we can customize our own katana let me let me see let me see what this is maybe it's like a reroll thing i don't know okay wow we can actually full-on customize our nitrin what i wish we could rotate it i can't even see what the guards are like i, I can't see the side view um okay uh, i guess we can i guess we can uh adjust some stuff i wish you could move around the sword so you can actually see what the stuff looks like but i guess we can randomly customize our nitrin for now Okay, so I just finished customizing my sword, and this is what it looks like. Um, it doesn't look the best because I kind of just chose random like stuff. Um, because you couldn't rotate the katana, so you couldn't see like what the stuff changed, like what the hilt looked like or what the sword blade looks like. So yeah, I just chose random stuff, and this is how it turned out. Um, yeah, they definitely should add a thing where you can like rotate it around so you can actually see what the changes do. But anyways, let's head over to Thunder Trainer. Okay, let's do this. Let's talk to the Thunder Trainer. And he's gonna give us a quest. I'm not too sure if he's gonna give us the breathing immediately or we have to do like a mission to get our breathing. So let's see. Would you like to learn thunder breathing? Sure. And uh, let's see, let's start the training. Okay, so he's gonna train us. What do we do? Do we talk to him again? Uh, you've become a mighty, s wait, what? We didn't even train yet. What? Oh, okay, so it looks like maybe there's no quest and you just get the breathing immediately. But, um. oh, wow. 
we got thunderclap and flash already okay let's equip this to the third slot and let's test it out okay we can breathe right okay g to breathe let's see does the breath bar go down yeah it does good oh wow it goes down so freaking fast yeah we definitely need to train our gourd look at this i can bear i can't even breathe i can't breathe i can't even it's not letting me breathe i'm holding g oh oh wow okay okay so basically breathing requires stamina that's definitely an interesting game mechanic because i haven't seen that in any other demon slayer games so yeah it requires stamina i was at zero stamina which is why it didn't work but let's try it out now boom and i'm gonna try thunderclap and flash boom hello thunderclap and flash is not gonna work what i don't know why thunderclap and flash isn't working maybe i need to like train my breath let me try one more time okay let's try one more time oh oh okay you gotta like kind of like spam click i wish there was an option is there an option to make it so that if you press 2 it automatically uses the uses the um ability i feel like that should make that an option i don't know if it is an option but i don't see it in the options so yeah maybe they should make it so that like um whenever you're using a move like you click two and it automatically just uses a move instead of you requiring to click because it requires you to click again to actually use thunderclap so let's show it one more time let's breathe and then equip two and click okay that's definitely a super clean move okay well um this video is running pretty long i really really enjoy the new map i'm not gonna lie i'm really enjoying the new map i don't know if i'm gonna play the game again maybe if uh, you guys really enjoyed this video um that's about it hope you guys enjoy the video and if you guys um want to check out the game the game link will be in the description below and the comments probably so yeah hope you guys enjoy and if you guys do of course be sure to like and subscribe and peace out